what is good guys welcome back to another video so today's what eat in a day is a little bit different so today i'm going to be attempting the paleo diet now if you guys don't know the paleo diet is basically a high in protein, low in carbs, but not intentionally. It's just because of certain foods they cut back from. So, you know, it's mainly your uh, lean meats, lean fish, fruits, veggies, all of that good stuff. And it cuts out grains like beans, lentils, added sugar, added salt. Am I missing anything else? Probably. So I'm super new <laughs> to this diet. I recently went to the doctors and she mentioned my small intestines were inflamed. Um, you know, I know I have a bunch of food intolerances already, but she recommended the paleo diet for me. You guys know me. I don't really do any diets, you know, paleo, keto. I prefer intuitive eating and that works for me um, without having any crazy restrictions because to be honest, it kind of takes the fun out of cooking for me if I have restrictions. But today I'm going to attempt it. Uh, the main reason I've been hesitant is because you guys know I love my cereal and paleo doesn't have wheat or grains or anything like that. So yep, no wheat abix. Uh, for lunch, you guys know I love my Heinz baked beans with my egg. Can't have that. And my salads. I absolutely love goat's cheese and on paleo, you can't have dairy. So that's why I say today's going to be an attempt, okay? Because I'm not well versed with this diet. I don't know a lot about it. So I'm just going to be Googling can I have this on paleo diet? So we'll see how it goes anyway. Um, I'm intrigued to see what I can come up with, um, you know, how full I'll be as well without all my grains and stuff. So yeah, we will see. So before we get into it, guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also press that subscribe button. I am back with the weekly vids. All right. So I usually don't like to cook in the morning, however this was totally worth it and has since become my new favourite breakfast or lunch. So it's super simple, just stir fry the asparagus, crack some eggs over the top and then let it cook through. The textures just really work together. I kind of struggle to find a good paleo friendly breakfast and to be honest most of the inspo I found included eggs, but I am not mad. my post-workout go-to. You honestly can't go wrong with these ingredients. The only thing I ever switch up is the fruit I use, but everything else pretty much stays the same. This vanilla protein powder makes the best addition. If you guys want to check it out, I do have a link below and my code CHANEL20 will give you 20% off. And it was at this moment I knew I messed up. So farro is not paleo friendly guys. Uh, you know, I was looking for salad ingredients and something was just missing. Like I needed something hearty and honestly, I can't think of a good substitute for grains. So yeah, this isn't paleo friendly because of the farro, but feel free to skip it if you follow this diet. And if not, just enjoy, it tastes bomb.
It's a simple snack, guys. One you can grab and go. You can't go wrong with carrot sticks and some almond butter. But if you're feeling a little bit fancy, throw in some celery in there or any other raw veggies. So you need to make this dinner. It was so good and simple to make. So since you can't use soy sauce on a paleo diet, I use coconut aminos as a great substitute. I also used a pre-mixed cabbage and kale pack just to make things a little bit quicker. So this dinner was bursting with flavor. I also topped it with dried cranberries, sunflower seeds, and sesame seeds. So of course, while researching the paleo diet, I had to find out what treats I can eat, and dairy-free dark chocolate and red wine is one of them. So it's time for me to unwind guys and enjoy these treats. So I'll see you next time.